They're easy on the eyes, but that's about it. Welcome to WatchMojo.com, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 anime that are all style and no substance. Before we begin, we publish new videos every day, so be sure to subscribe for more great content. For this list, we'll be looking at the anime that may excel when it comes to art design and animation, but are sorely lacking when it comes to depth. We're not saying these anime are bad, but their appeal for us is really only surface level. Ah, so so. Number 10, Makaku City Actors. You always have to be careful with anime that are based on music. Sometimes they come out rather well, and other times they're just lacking. Which is a real shame when it comes to this show, given how it was created by Shaft, the guys who brought us the absolutely stunning Madoka Magica and Baki Monogatari. Oi, <coughs> Timmy! As you can see, their penchant for beautiful animation shines through here, as the Makakoshi Dan's ocular abilities really light up the screen. But beyond that, this adaptation really doesn't bring anything revolutionary to the table. Hi. Hi. Number 9, Myriad Colors Phantom World. Oh boy, you really screwed the pooch with this one, didn't you, Kiyoani? The studio has found great success by giving us series that happily blend the mundane with the supernatural, as well as plenty of feels to ensure an enjoyable viewing experience. They did give us Hyoka, Nishijo, Free, Kaon, and Haruhi Suzumiya, after all. This one, on the other hand, is unanimously panned. It may look appealing from the outset, but it soon becomes clear that Phantom World is nothing but an endless stream of cliches. Inadvertent harems, boring male lead, accidental fan service, the list goes on. <laughs> Number 8, Katsugeki Token Rambu. <laughs> It's an interesting premise, especially for the reverse harem genre. Legendary swords that turn into sexy young men, what could go wrong? Especially if it's animated by the likes of UFO Table, you know, those talented people that brought us the Fate series, the good ones. Sounds like an ideal matchup given how gorgeously rendered battle scenes are their bread and butter. <laughs> Their latest efforts with Katsugeki Token Rambu certainly prove that. It's just a shame that the show forces flat character development and expects such a strong emotional response in return. Number 7 Ground Control to Psychoelectric Girl. I can't! Oh. <laughs> Much like how its eccentric female lead claims to be an alien, the animation here is out of this world, doing a stellar job at selling the show's themes of reflection and desire to hide from the real world. We're not saying the anime is without its tender moments, it just pushes it a bit when it tries to be quirky. <laughs> Erio's insistence on being an extraterrestrial certainly makes up the crux of the show's emotional core, but then you have the rest of the cast's oddball attributes, including her mother's milfish antics, and before you know it, the series has more misses than hits under its belt. <laughs> Number 6, Gundam Reconquista in G. <laughs> Please understand, we have the highest respect for Yoshiyuki Tomino. The man gave us Mobile Suit Gundam, Char Aznable, and kickstarted a whole new wave of mecha anime that are still inspiring new stories to this very day. We good? Good. Anyway, G Rico is a beautiful, beautiful mess. The visuals are stunning, especially when it comes to the Gundam battles. It's just a shame the story suffers for it. Half the time we have no idea what's going on, and when we do, it just comes across as sloppy and doesn't warrant the effort of getting invested. <laughs> Number 5, Sword Oratoria. Is it wrong to try and pick up girls in a dungeon? On the side. God, that title is way too long. Despite being an original story, the fact it shares the same world as the original Dan Machi series means there are bound to be comparisons. 
given how the adventures of Bella and Hestia weren't exactly groundbreaking, there was a relatively low bar for this show to meet. It didn't reach it. Aside from some decently animated fight scenes, the pacing in the series is all over the place, the characters are forgettable, and it has an ending that makes zero sense. This one really should have just stayed lost in a dungeon. <laughs> Number 4, Karas. What are the motivations of the characters? What the hell is happening? Who cares? These fight scenes are f***ing awesome. Granted, we do get some small measure of narrative trickling through every now and then, but let's be honest, you are watching this anime for one reason and one reason only. To see a cybernetic samurai kick the crap out of mechanical monsters in some of the most breathtaking CGI you'll ever see. The other stuff? Uh, I can just take the back seat. Number 3, Cabinary of the Iron Fortress. <laughs> Mankind has been brought to extinction. The only way to defend themselves from the threat of the monsters at their door is with giant superstructures. Of course, they can't hold out forever, but luckily for humanity, our revenge-driven lead character might just have found a way to save everyone, but in the process, he must become what he most despises. <laughs> Oh, sorry, did you think we were talking about Attack on Titan? Nope, it's just an obvious ripoff by the same company that desperately wishes it was. But hey, at least it looks pretty. <laughs> Number 2, Kiz Neither. <laughs> We love Studio Trigger, their characters are always memorable, their stories are never far from the beginning of batshit insane, and their animation is top tier. When it comes to this little project, however, well, at least the animation still holds up. Unfortunately, everything else about Kiznaiva is underwhelming. <laughs> We certainly get the intention, a show about being able to understand and express emotion and pain through other people. However, the execution is pretty poor, ensuring this series will never stand shoulder to shoulder with the likes of Guren Lagan and Kill the Kill. Number 1, K. The Blues are here. Scepter 4 has entered the building, gentlemen. AKA the anime with the character's astoundingly animated hair has more charm and personality than the rest of the cast. With its various interweaving stories about rival gangs, murder, conspiracies, and smoldering Bishonen gazes, it might seem like a series you could really sink your teeth into. As it stands, the glorious way their hair shimmers in the moonlight is the only thing the series has going for it. Too many characters with not enough time to properly define themselves, poor pacing, a lackluster resolution, this series is really only skin deep. Do you agree with our picks? Check out these other great clips from WatchMojo and subscribe for new videos every day.